Um, so today I'm going to take you on a journey uh, across length scales, and we're going to do this completely in our minds. Um, what I'm going to do is uh, start with about a meter length scale, and then I'm going to need your help. Uh, I'm going to need you to, um, you can even close your eyes, to try to picture um, us jumping down orders of magnitude. Um, and I'm going to place pictures at each of the different length scales so that we can pair between them. Okay, let's start. Um, so we're going to take a meter, um, about this much across, and um, let's put something next to the meter that's about a tenth of it. So say um, your hand is typically a bit less, I think, than 10 centimeters, but let's use it as a proxy. So, you know, let's put a hand here in our minds, um, compare it to a meter. And what we're going to do is, you see this little hand that we left here in our mental space, we're going to take these two points of space and expand them. So now the hand is as big as the meter was, and whatever was next to the hand will be as big as the hand was. Um, okay, so let's do that again. So back to meter, uh, we're going to take the hand, and I'm going to place a little uh, die next to it, you know, like a little um, uh, sort of uh, dice. And uh, when I expand the hand up, the die becomes as big as the hand was. Okay, interesting. So now next to the die, I'm going to place a small kind of millimeter or a little larger than that bead. And so as I expand the die up, the bead is now as big as the die was. Okay, here's where, it's, where it gets interesting. I'm going to take this little bead, I'm going to make it as big as the die was, and what's that? It's an egg cell. So you'll, you'll actually see uh, a cell almost visible um, right under the kind of length scale that you'd see like on the level of millimeters. Okay, interesting. So let's take the little egg cell and expand it to be as big as the bead was, and what's this? It's actually a skin cell. So you have a skin cell on the next order of magnitude. Okay, interesting, interesting. Let's make the skin cell bigger. And what's this hairy ball of fluff? Oh, is that a bacteria? Is that E. coli? Yeah, so basically E. coli. So let, 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 let's take that back. Um, so we have E. coli here, the skin cell here. We take the skin cell back to be as big as the E. coli was. And there you have an oocyte. And kind of the, the, the mental sort of leap to make is that cells really have two orders of magnitude when you're dealing with them, which is really interesting. But okay, we have our oocyte here. Let's um, expand the skin cell back out, and here's the E. coli. And let's expand the E. coli back out, and what will you see here? Oh, is that a virus? Okay, interesting. Now expand the virus out. Here's a little string that's about a 30 amino acid peptide. Expand that out. You see about three amino acids. Expand those out, and what do you see? You see an atom. Um, and so you can jump in about 10 steps from a meter all the way down to an atom. Um, and at each point, you kind of see these different objects that you've read about, but they're cohered in your mind. So what we're going to do to end is we're going to jump back up to a meter length scale, starting with the atom. Okay, ready? Uh, okay, so we're going to go atom. Okay, compress back down. Three amino acids. Okay, compress back down. Thirty amino acids. Uh, okay, compress back down. Oh, is that a virus? Yeah, okay, holy cow. Okay, compress the virus down. Um, we get back to an E. coli cell. Compress the E. coli cell down. Is that a skin cell? Okay, interesting skin cell. Oocyte. Um, compress the oocyte back down, get to a bead, compress the bead back down, um, and then what we're looking at, we're looking, we're looking at a, a die, compress the die back down, looking at about a hand, compress the hand back down, and you get back to a meter. Um, and a good practice for you, if you want to get a sense for the physics of living things, or what's possible on a living scale, um, I think is to try to do this mentally a lot, to build a scale like this in your mind, um, and traverse it. And what you'll start to see is you go to different levels of different pictures. And I'll end by telling you one picture that came to my mind while I was doing the scale, which was um, when we go back down uh, about six to seven orders of magnitude and we were looking at that skin cell, we had the little E. coli cell next to it. So you have the skin cell here and the E. coli cell here. Um, if you had looked in the skin cell, what you'd see is these little objects that had about the same size as the E. coli, like a little bit similar. And those would be mitochondria. And so it'd be evident to you, if you were looking at a skin cell, that this thing that we call bacteria and this thing that we call mitochondria are, are pretty similar length scales and, and maybe look look in a similar way. Um, and there's this whole thesis, of course, that you know bacteria came, or sorry, mitochondria came from bacteria originally. Um, and it's it's just interesting that you would have felt that, or a little the possibility of that a little bit more clearly, um, if you could just see the length scales and were able to visualize them in that way. Um, but anyway, biology is awesome. Um, you should think about it a lot. Um, and yes, thank you for watching.